Hello, welcome to Wednesday's edition of Kraken Cryptic. Um, I'm going to take a look at the quick cryptic in a moment, um, but just to let you know that Mark is going to do a live solve of today's uh, main cryptic, um, uh, which will probably appear on the site tomorrow uh, with his commentary. Um, might be worth watching that one. Um, those of you who've tried the puzzle will know that there is a couple of uh, very difficult answers in there. And um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the reigning champion uh, does against that puzzle in particular. So without further ado, uh, let's have a look at this, this quick cryptic. I'm going to focus on how to read clues today. I'm going to focus on wordplay and trying to understand it. So we're just going to look for instructional phrases um, to try and help us through these clues. So profit seekers had the thing in front of a catalogue. So the only thing I can see in there that looks like uh, you know, it's definitely instructional. Is this in front of? Um, okay, so and that actually helped me to solve the clue. I've just solved it. So the thing in front of a catalogue. So I could see that somewhere in this answer, I needed to put a short synonym for the thing in front of. Uh, probably an A because we talked before about how there shouldn't be any superfluous words in these clues. So if we if we were to rewrite this clue as profit seekers hat the thing in front of catalogue, it would make almost exactly the same sense as it does now. So that A has to be important because it's otherwise unnecessary. So it looks to me like we're putting the synonym for the thing in front of an A, because we need the A, and a short synonym for catalogue. Well, list is the shortest synonym I can think of. And all of a sudden, we're, we're sort of a lot of the way towards this answer. We're now looking for profit seeker. We're looking for probably a short synonym for hat. Well, I, again, I contend there is only you know, one very short synonym that is common, and that would be cap. The thing, it, and there we go, capitalist. So again, just by focusing in on the instructional parts of the sentence that makes the clue, we were able to get, get to the answer. I think we'll do all the acrosses and come back to the downs. Uh, possibly a quotation of at the most one million. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, I have done that, but there's no instructional phrases in there. So this is just a... Uh, this is this is just a tricky, tricky clue. The definition here is possibly a quotation, and then we need to think of an expression that might mean uh, at the most one million. Um, and it's uh, you know it could have had a question mark at the end of this clue because it's quite punny and relies on uh, I don't know writing the answer maxim max one million would be a way of writing at the most one million and a quotation could be a maxim so I think that's a difficult clue I mean certainly that would not be out of place in the full times crossword I was I was going to mention actually I did one of these quick cryptics the other day and there were several clues that I thought were at least as difficult as a normal times crossword so just because it's called the quick cryptic I think that has more to do with the size of the grid uh, you know it's more of a coffee time puzzle in terms of size um, and also, I think the vocabulary that's used for the answers, I think that they try and wheedle out, you know, really horrendous words. But otherwise, you know, it's the full caboodle. So let's have a look at this one. Work history, looking after patients coming to US casualty department. Okay. Um, so again, the only thing I can see there that's um, perhaps helpful is this coming to. Uh, and so it looks like, to me anyway, we're looking for a synonym of work history and then a word that might mean looking after patients and that's going to come to an abbreviation for a US casualty department. Those of us who are fans of uh, US medical dramas will I'm sure be thinking of the correct one very quickly. The good doctor doesn't fit, house doesn't fit. So it's probably ER, and I suppose it could go either way round. It could be either way round, but most likely it's going to end in ER. Work history, 
have a think if you need to, but I'm going to put the answer in. Career, care plus ER is your work history there. Let's carry on. Venomous creature like viper at heart. Okay, so again, there's no instruction there, so we can't get any help that way. We just have to try and sort of cold solve this. Um, the way to solve it, I think, is to focus in two things. Firstly, viper at heart. Well, this sort of expression at heart means we want to look at the central letter, especially as we're looking. The preceding word has an odd number of letters, so it will have a central letter. So we're probably looking at a word ending in P here. Venomous creature that fits this, this pattern? Well, asp, I think, is the most obvious, and like here is being used as a synonym for asp, so not too difficult, that one. Uh, top gear, where carport is typically built. Um, uh, I don't know the answer to that, so let's move on. <clears throat> a way to follow sailor overseas. Okay, well this is um, this is a fairly straightforward clue to those of us who experience with these crosswords, but it's quite instructional. So, sailor has about sixteen different shortenings that are sometimes used in the puzzle. I suppose the most common though is AB for able seaman. Um, others could be tar, as in every nice girl loves a sailor, every nice girl loves a tar. Um, here we're looking at AB and we need a way to follow our abbreviation for sailor. So we need a four letter way here and the whole thing means overseas. Well I think once you've got the AB it's not beyond the wit of man to come up with a broad there. Uh, okay, so here, switch between two positions as leg got twisted. So, and the only real instructional word in there is twisted, I think. And twisted, of course, you know, it sounds like we need to anagram something. We've got leg got as the preceding two words, so it looks like an anagram of leg got I means switch between two positions. Pause the video if you need to. I'm going to write the answer in. Toggle. Touchdown before team secures 50 for decisive win. Okay, so here again, we're able to make some progress here by looking in the middle words and trying to find instructions. So before team secures 50. Okay. So, team securing 50, what could that mean? Well, I think uh, those who have been following the series will know whenever we see new, new numbers, we should always be thinking about their Roman numeral equivalent. So, this looks to me like we need to put L into a word for team. Uh, again, team is most often its side, um, and that's what it is here. The other thing you might see occasionally is XI. Uh, being the Roman numeral for 11, as so many teams are made up of 11 players. So here, we're looking to put side around an L, and we need to put that after a word meaning touchdown, and we'll get an expression that means a decisive win. And I, again, I don't think, once you've read the clue correctly, this is going to hold up anybody for very long. So we've got landslide there. Some of clever ruses go wrong. Okay, well, we know that in the quick cryptic we can have more than one, but in the real cryptic there'll always be one hidden answer, i.e., where the letters, consecutive letters uh, in part of the clue itself, will reveal the answer. It could be forwards or backwards, but the clue will always tell us if it's going to be backwards. This one it's forwards. Some of clever ruses. So immediately we should be looking inside the letters of clever ruses here. And you can see you'll find er there, which certainly means go wrong. Despicable person embracing conservative is bigot, is bigots, sorry. So again, we've got embracing conservative here. Um, so it's um, you know this is the instructional part. Now here we have to be careful because we've got this is in the clue. Now, normally it would be fine for is to be a word linking the word play with the definition. Um, here, actually, the set has been clever and he's used it. He's used the is as part of the word play. 
So what we need to do is carefully divide the clue after the word is and reread it. So we need a three-letter despicable person. That's going to embrace CIS and the whole thing will mean bigot. Once we've read it properly again, the clue, the answer almost falls out. Um, uh, we just needed to put rat around the edge. <coughs> Flake of hard skin, almost touching soft skin on head. Mm. Um, I don't know that one, we'll come back to it. Um, what, what have we got here? We've got float around without hearing organs in brave style. So we have to read this very carefully. Float around. This could be read in two ways, I suppose. You could be looking for a word that means float around, and you could put that on the outside of uh, a word meaning hearing organs. Well, I think that's fairly obvious. That would have to be ears in that case, with the whole thing meaning in brave style. But the other way of reading this, and in fact the correct way here, um, is to think of a short word which means float and put that around the outside of a word that means without hearing organs. Um, so hard to tell which of those is, li is likely to be right until you come up with the, you know, the right idea, I suppose. I'm going to write the answer in here. I'll give you a clue. You're looking for this sort of um, construction for the word in itself. So to try and have a think about whether you can fit something in the middle there that might mean without hearing organs. And the answer is earless. Oops. So if we put earless in the middle of fly, float around, we get fearlessly, which means in brave style. Okay, let's zoom through the downs now. A uh, similar approach, not finishing Bible story. Okay. Um, so again, the only, I contend, the only difficult part here is to cut the clue in the right place. Here we need to cut it after the word similar. So we're looking for a word which means similar. Then we're looking for a short word which means approach, which is not going to finish, followed by a Bible story. And I think once you've got a look at these letters that we've got here, we could have a very good guess at what the synonym is for a Bible story. So let's put that in. And of course, that sort of reveals the answer. We're looking at comparable here. For approach is to come, don't finish that, and then we have the parable at the end. Well, disease often connected to small cow chicken. Okay. <laughs> so this is just a nice clue. I mean, the answer is obviously pox, but um, the word plays nice. So it's often connected to small pox, cow pox, or chicken pox. So it's a common ending all of those. This looks like Tom Bowler without even looking at the clue. Uh, fair lottery, excited mob a lot. Yeah, okay, so there we have the word excited, telling us we need to excite or agitate the, the words or the letters in mob a lot. Uh, minions facial bruise with the edges not visible. <laughs> okay, so this is a nice clue. So again, we're trying to find instruction here. You can see with the edges not visible is the only sort of, um, I don't know, instruction I can see there. So it looks like we're looking for an eight letter word there, where we're going to cut off either end of that word and we'll be left with the word which means minion. So facial bruise, I think there's only one eight letter word that jumps to mind. And amusingly, if we remove the B and the E, the extra uh, sort of exterior letters of black eye, we get lackey, which is a minion. Keep quiet on socialist scrap. Okay, well, again, we've got the word on there. This is a down clue. That's important. See on, on in a down clue, or above, or below. That's probably part of the word play. It looks to me like we're looking for the short synonym for keep quiet, which is shh. We're going to put that on three-letter word for a socialist. Well, again, I think there's only one that would work. And the whole thing is going to mean a scrap. So, there we go for that one. UN regime reformed. 
Okay, so we should all already be thinking, we've not read the whole clue yet, but we should be thinking this is an anagram of the UN regime. We're looking at an eight-letter answer. Uh, foundation for Pavlova. It's really nice it is too. Narang. Method of wiring limb in alternative therapy. Okay, right. <coughs> Right, what I'm thinking, uh, I don't know the answer to this yet, by the way, but I think I can read the clue correctly. I think this is a method of wiring. And then we need a short word for a limb. Well, that looks like leg or arm to me. In an anagram of therapy, alternative therapy, it screams to me this must be an anagram. And we need this to be a method of wiring. I'm afraid this is like one of these clues where I likely have a total brain freeze because I am so impractical and so useless at anything to do with um, wiring or in fact any practical task that I just assume I won't know the word for how to do it either. Um, anyway we'll, we'll come back to that once we've got a couple more checking letters. Um, maybe mother's personal assistant hiring free, hiring fee I should say. Okay so there's no uh, there's no instruction in here, so we're going to have to build it up from its pieces. Uh, you've probably already got it from the checking letters, but let's see why it works. Personal assistant, I think, is the most is the easiest place to start here because it has such an obvious abbreviation, especially when you have a P. So PA, hiring fee that fits this pattern. Well, that's going to be rental. D does parental mean? Yes, maybe mothers. So there we go. It's fairly straightforward. Um, supervise, so again this looks like oversee immediately. Selection from Shinto verse epic, so you can see again hidden there in the words Shinto verse epic in order consecutively is the word oversee. Manage to secure a short period in office when it's cold. Okay. Um, okay, so again Unluckily, there's no instruction here, so we're going to have to do this the hard way. A short period in office, though, maybe, maybe that's a bit of a hint. A period in office, certainly in an American presidency state sense, uh, sense, would be a term of office. And we can see here, especially with these checking letters, how we could put TER at the end here. So now we're looking for a three-letter word, which means manage to secure. And we need a period or what is it in office when it's cold. Well, it's not too difficult now once we've read it correctly. Winter. Um, perhaps react with disgust, energy, and animosity. Okay. So again, this is just built up. The, only, the, the way to get this, or the way I got it, was I, energy I'm very familiar with as an abbreviation for E. I can see the E at the end of the clue. So I'm immediately thinking. I need a word that means animosity that fits this pattern. And I know it's going to start with a four letter word which means perhaps react with disgust. If you react with disgust you might spit. Spite obviously means animosity. The man dismissed from ashes is a fool. Okay, so here we've got the words dismissed from. So it looks like we need very short synonym for the man and we need to remove that either from the word ashes or from a word that means ashes and here we're, we're fortunate I think because the man has an obvious short synonym he and if we, we can see he there in the word ashes so if we remove it we get ass which is of course a fool so we've got what have we got three left this looks like overdrive, doesn't it? Top gear, well that's certainly overdrive. Where carport is typically built, so a carport would be built over your drive. So we're on the right lines there. Let's go back to this one. Flake of hard skin, almost touching soft skin on head. Okay, I now, I now have got this one. So a flake of hard skin would be a scale. And we, if it's almost a scale, it's just the scale bit. That's going to touch soft. Soft can be P in a musical sense. 
Um, and there we go, that's going to be skin on head, scalp. So we're left with this one, method of wiring. Um, da -da 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 -da. And I think <coughs> the the way to get this one, I mean, we were, I was guessing at it before, but three letter word, which means limb, that fits this pattern. Well, I guess you could put arm here, but that's not going to work. You can see A-R-M-P, I don't think that exists in any word I can think of. So we must be looking with putting leg in the middle. And that would go there. And then the ending becomes clear. That looks to me now like it's going to end with graphy. And now we can see if we put te telegraphy, telegraphy, uh, that le certainly looks like it's going to be the right answer. So we've done this fairly slowly. I've worked through it today. I uh, hope interesting and um, good for those of you who may be a bit less experienced at solving the Times crossword. Um, and as I say, I'll see you again tomorrow uh, with Mark's solve of today's real Times crossword. Uh, and I may do a Sudoku video later as well for those of you interested in that kind of thing. If you like the channel, please do subscribe. Please tell your friends. Um, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.